Hi friends, I am Rajesh. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to take a theorem. Its name Bernoulli's Inequality. Bernoulli's inequality. Its statement is if x greater than minus 1, then 1 plus x whole raised to n greater than or equals 1 plus nx for all n belongs to capital N. n belongs to capital N. Here capital N is the set of all natural numbers. So we want to prove 1 plus x whole raised to n greater than or equals 1 plus nx. Here x is a real number greater than minus 1. Clear? Here we prove this result by using mathematical induction. Mathematical induction. That means first we will prove this result is true for n equals n equals 1. Second, we assume this result is true for n equals k. k means any natural number. n equals k. After that, we will prove this result is true for n equals k plus 1. First, we will prove this result is true for n equals 1. Next, we will assume this result is true for n equals k then we will prove this result is true for n equals k plus 1 clear so first we will prove this result is true for n equals 1 n equals 1 n equals 1 n equals 1. Here, 1 plus x whole raised to n is the LHS. 1 plus nx is the RHS. We want to prove LHS greater than or is equal to RHS. LHS greater than or is equal to RHS. Clear? So, put n equals 1 in LHS. Then LHS becomes 1 plus x whole raised to n becomes 1 plus x whole raised to 1 that is equal to 1 plus x. Clear. R just becomes 1 plus nx that becomes 1 plus 1x that is equal to 1 plus x. Here LHS equals R just. LHS equals R just. Actually we want to prove LHS greater than or is equal to R just. So here we have proved LHS equals RHS. So, we can say this result is true for n equals 1. Clear? This result is true for n equals 1. Here, LHS, LHS equals RHS. RHS. So, this result is true for n equals 1. Result is true for n equals 1. Okay. Next, we assume this result is true for n equals k. We assume this result is true for n equals k. k means any natural number. n equals k. Next case, n equals k. This result is true for n equals k means we can write 1 plus x whole raised to k greater than or equals 1 plus k x. Here k is a natural number. K is a natural number. Natural number. K is a natural number. Clear? K is a natural number. So, this is our assumption. 1 plus x whole raised to k greater than or equals 1 plus kx. Next, we want to prove this result is true for n equals k plus 1. Clear? This result is true for n equals k plus 1. That means, we have to prove 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 greater than or equals 1 plus n 
in place of n k plus 1 k plus 1 into x clear after proving this inequality we can say that this result is true for n equals k plus 1 clear for this we take LHS that means 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 that is equal to 1 plus x whole raised to k into 1 plus x 1 plus x whole raised to k into 1 plus x clear here the theorem gives us x greater than minus 1 x greater than minus 1 adding 1 on both sides then we get 1 plus that means we have x greater than minus 1 x greater than minus 1 adding 1 on both sides then we get 1 plus x greater than 1 plus minus 1 that is equal to 0 that means 1 plus x greater than 0 1 plus x greater than 0 1 plus x is a positive number ok actually we assume 1 plus x always to k is greater than or equals 1 plus kx again we can write 1 plus x always to k greater than or equals 1 plus kx clear this is our assumption multiplying by 1 plus x on this inequalities that is on both sides multiplying by 1 plus x on both sides of this inequality so LHS become 1 plus x whole raised to k into 1 plus x multiplying by 1 plus x on both sides of this inequality so LHS become 1 plus x whole raised to k into 1 plus x greater than or equals 1 plus kx into 1 plus x 1 plus kx into 1 plus x clear so we get 1 plus x whole raised to k into 1 plus x greater than or equals 1 plus kx into 1 plus x comparing these two results comparing these two results we can write this that means this greater than or equals greater than or equals that result 1 plus kx into 1 plus kx into 1 plus x clear 1 plus kx into 1 plus x ok so multiplying the term that means this greater than or equals 1 into 1 1 plus 1 into x x next kx into 1 plus kx kx into x plus kx square clear ok that greater than or equals 1 plus here x is the common factor of these two terms we can take outside then x into 1 plus k 1 plus k because x into 1 x x into k kx clear plus kx square kx square clear here x greater than minus 1 x greater than minus 1 x greater than minus 1 then x square greater than or equal to 0 the theorem gives us x x is a real number greater than minus 1 then surely x square greater than or equal to 0 there may be a chance x equals 0 then x square equals to 0 if x be a non-zero element then x square strictly positive comparing these two results comparing these two results we can write x square greater than or equal to 0 clear x square greater than or equal to 0 also k is a natural number k is a natural number then k greater than 0 k is a natural number then k greater than 0 multiplying by k on both sides of this inequalities multiplying by k on both sides of this inequalities we will get kx square greater than or equal 0 kx square greater than or equal 0 clear? ok next adding x into 1 plus k x into 1 plus k on both sides of this inequality adding x into 1 plus k on both sides of this inequality so this becomes here kx square and we add x into 1 plus k 
x into 1 plus k greater than or equals we add x into 1 plus k on our test. that means x into 1 plus k plus 0 k k ok again we add 1 on both sides of this inequalities we add 1 on both sides of this inequalities then this becomes LHS 1 plus remaining term x into 1 plus k plus kx square greater than or equals we add 1 on RHS then 1 plus x into 1 plus k plus 0 actually there is no need to write 0 just 1 plus x into 1 plus k clear again combine these two results combine these two results that means 1 plus x into 1 plus k plus kx square is greater than or equals 1 plus x into 1 plus k here so this greater than or equals 1 plus x into x into 1 plus k x into 1 plus k clear So connecting first and last, then we get 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 is greater than or equals, greater than or equals 1 plus x into 1 plus k. Then 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 greater than or equals 1 plus x into, in place of 1 plus k we can write k plus 1, k plus 1. 1 plus k equals k plus 1. So, we have proved 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 greater than or equals 1 plus x into k plus 1. Clear? That means we get this result. 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 greater than or equals 1 plus. Here we can write x into k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 to x. That means again we can write 1 plus x whole raised to k plus 1 greater than or equals. 1 plus 1 plus k plus 1 into x k plus 1 into x clear k plus 1 into x so we proved this inequality that means this result is true for n equals k plus 1 because we proved 1 plus x always to k plus 1 greater than or equals 1 plus k plus 1 into x then we can say that this result is true for n equals k plus 1 then by the mathematical induction, we can say this result is true for all natural numbers. First, we have proved this result is true for n equals 1. Next, we assume this result is true for n equals k. Then, we proved this result is true for n equals k plus 1. So, by the mathematical induction, we can say this result is true for all n. Clear? First, we have proved this result is true for n equals 1. Next, we assume that this result is true for n equals k. Then last, we have proved this result is true for n equals k plus 1. So, by the mathematical induction, this result is true for all natural numbers. Clear? I hope you have enjoyed my class. Then, thank you for watching my video. Thank you.